Question four. I call on the Honourable Member for Uncle Ms Edge. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'd like to ask the Chief Minister who is responsible for maintaining the Isle of Man government website. I call on the Chief Minister to reply. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And I, can I thank the Honourable Member for Onken for her question? <laughs> <laughs> um, government departments and service owners are responsible for the maintenance of their content featured on the Isle of Man government website. Government technology services are responsible for the maintenance of the technical infrastructure and security of the Isle of Man government website. Thank you. The country question is Edge. Thank you. Uh, Mr Speaker and I thank the Chief Minister. Um, just with regards to, I've obviously um, I've asked this question because numerous members of the public come and they say the latest data is not on there, it's not up to date. What policy is actually in place within each department to ensure that the accurate latest information is uploaded? Chief Minister to reply. Thank you Mr Speaker. I want to thank again the Honourable Member for their supplementary, but um, I, I know in the Council of Ministers we have asked that all departments review um, the data that each of the departments is responsible for, for um, populating our um, website, <coughs> and that's, that therefore is the responsibility of, the, of each individual department, or whoever is responsible for the information, making sure it's on our website. If the Honourable Member <coughs> again has any examples of where there are problems, then I'm more than happy to take that up with the relevant department statutory board, etc., to make sure it's properly populated. Thank you. But I, I would like to point out that given the state of play that all departments have had with the COVID situation, etc., there will be, I'm sure, obvious areas where things have been missed, but more than happy to correct them. So, point to question, Dr. Allenson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'd like to thank the Chief Minister for, for his statement about the government website. Would he agree with me that in a fast-changing world, actually, it's all our responsibility to make sure that the information that's provided by government and by government services is as accurate as possible for all our constituents and members of our community? Thank you. Chief Minister, to reply. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Now, thank you, honourable <coughs> member, for his supplementary member from Ramsey. Yes, it is. I mean, obviously, it's... You could argue that it's the department's views to review on a regular basis their, their information. I'm sure there'll be offices in each department. But yes, it's in all of our um, interests to ensure that we tell the public the latest information that we have from um, the areas that we're, we're working in so that they're aware of the up-to-date situation. And um, as I, said, I would urge that if any member feels they're, if they've come across something that's not up-to-date, then um, let let ourselves know or the um, government technology services who update it when they get the res when they get the requests i know on average gts receive 20 to 30 requests for assistance in making content change a day so point your question Ms. edge thank you mr speaker I thank the honorable member for ramsey for saying we're all responsible well everybody's in departments and departments are responsible um for the overall policy clearly but Interesting, the Chief Minister has just said that GTS um, are uploading things daily, 20 to 30 items. Can I point out to the Chief Minister one of the biggest issues that's been raised um, by many members is procurement. And just looking at the procurement site, which obviously GTS can update, um, there's a lot of information just being stopped because of COVID. Well, <coughs> COVID has moved on quite a pace since May. And I feel that it's important, particularly with procurement and the amount of queries that this Honourable Court gets with regards to procurement, that this certainly should be up to date. And that's one example. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I will ask the, um, the officers and, and politicians in charge of the procurement area to ensure that the very latest details are put on our website as soon as possible.